All right, guys, 30,000 mile update on the Falcon Wild Peaks AT3W. Um, I've had these now for, I wanna say about two years. Um, they've been absolutely incredible. You know, like what else can I say? Um, I was, as you guys know, I was coming from the BF Goodrich KO2s, the, the AT, and I made the, uh, you know, I made the switch to these. And so far, I haven't really looked back. Um, in my last video, I know I said that uh, what's called these AT3Ws have been way better in the rain, and 30,000 miles later, they still have been absolutely incredible in the rain. Um, now, granted, we haven't had rain um, this past few months. However, just going through like wet patches if someone's doing construction or um, you know out out on the street if there's just some like a random wet patch i have no problem just driving straight through it so little background these are let's see 285 7017 um load range c so that's gonna be um you know your tire this is the minimum load range i in my opinion that you would want if you're gonna take this off-roading it is three peak mountain snowflake. So if you go up in the mountains, if I remember correctly, you don't have to wear chains, um, but you know, um, do, your do, do your own due diligence and research that yourself before you go on an adventure like that. So these, since these are 285, 7017, they are on a 17 inch method MRW315 in their matte black finish. And these have been holding up extremely well. Uh, I just had them washed a few weeks ago. Um, and these just look great. Like wet, like dirty or clean, you know? Cause like that matte black really, um, really hides a lot of dirt versus if you were to go with like a machine finish or uh, like a bronze. So yeah, as promised, I do have a tread depth gauge here so let's go measure this bad boy real quick so quick this is how the tread looks like um yeah nothing too out of the ordinary there lost still lots of siping depth left uh, I don't know how you'd go about measuring that, but just from eyes view, it looks good. So let's measure it. So this is this is coming off of the uh, driver's side front. So now, granted, these are at thirty thousand miles. So let's see in the middle here. Looking at about 10 on the inside. Looking at about 12 on the outside. Looking about 12 and a half. So that is telling me that my, my alignment might be a little bit off and these tires might be a little bit overinflated. Um, you can kind of, you know, tell a little bit, there's a little bit less wear on the outside here versus on the, in the middle. Um, you know, obviously that's totally user, um, input. That's all me. You know, I'm not, there's, there's nothing the tire did wrong. Um, but that's why you cross rotate your tires, right? So these ones are going to go, since they came off the driver's front, I'm going to go back to the passenger rear or rather actually, yeah, passenger rear. And then the passenger rears will just go straight front. And then these passenger fronts will go to the driver's rear. That makes sense. Um, yeah, so these tires have been absolutely great. Um, you know, no complaints. The only thing is, I don't know if it's the tread compound, but they actually brown pretty easily over 
uh, a few couple thousand miles I I know I watched another video of someone saying the same thing and it's pretty apparent on this tire it looks pretty brown uh, granted I haven't washed it but when I do that brown will still be there I'm not sure if that's the tread compound that they use or that's also user error that possibly could be it but I use the um, that Diablo that red um, that red tire cleaner tire wheel cleaner from uh, uh, what are those guys called uh, chemical guys so heard those were pretty good so I don't know put that in the comments if you think otherwise so yeah 30,000 miles update I think these will last still a few more a couple thousand hopefully a few more rotations so I'm not trying I'm not super sensitive about tire life um, I'm already kind of let me put it this way these lasted long enough for me to kind of want to look at other tires if that makes sense so for me they last long enough to where I'm, ar I'm already looking at what's the next set I'm going to put on. Um, so, yeah, so uh, I, have a f I have a little surprise here um, on Monday, which I'll update you guys accordingly. But I will be getting an extra differential here soon. Hint, hint. So we'll see. You know, I'll update you guys on that. But anyways, Falcon Wild Peak AT3Ws. These have been great. I recommend them to all my friends. And, uh, you know, can't go wrong. That's why they call them the darling of the Overland community, right? So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please like it, subscribe, and comment what you think. So, yeah, talk soon. Bye.